I was working retail over at Costco, kind of getting burnt out after the pandemic. So I put in my resume and everything. Didn't get an interview. So about four months later, I just get a random call from Wyoming. And I'm like, ugh, spam call. So I just ignore it. Then I get back to work and I'm like, that was probably Dan. What, what attracted us to, what attracted me to Chinani? <laughs> what a horrible way to say that. <laughs> so I checked my voicemail, it was Dan. Set up an interview and that went well, did a working interview. That went well, accepted the job, spent six months looking for a house, trying to move to Sheridan. The main criteria for those early hires were, are you super passionate? Like, do you like what we're doing enough to come like bleed with me as we start this company? The fish care is definitely a major part, but then just seeing how organized and how thoughtful every little step of the processes here are, like catching fish, was like a 20 minute training thing of like all the little details to look for. It's got to be someone that is really wanting to, to lean into the, uh, to the mission of what we're trying to do. And so Johnny did that. He was willing to like quit a very comfortable job, sell a house in Kentucky and, and move all the way here to do this with me. So I was like, okay, there's someone that's all in, right? Moving here was a nightmare. It was the worst time to buy a house. It took me about six months to find a house. I had to jump through so many hoops. So we were looking specifically for someone to handle customer service when we hired Johnny. But we also knew we needed a lot more than that. No one here wears one hat. We all do lots of stuff. I'm just a hobbyist. I've been keeping fish for a little over 25 years now. No experience at pet stores. I did quite a bit of retail at Costco, so customer service is what Costco is known for. So I think I picked up a lot of skills there. He has lots of other stuff for us, though, too. He administers the medications, he keeps the inventory up. Um, and then on top of that, there's lots of other operations, things, feeding fish, packing fish for shipping and all that. I come in, I try to take care of as many emails as I can. If it's a shipping day, then I go over, see if they need help shipping, give them a hand packing fish, feed, medicate. If I have time, I do inventory. Just a couple weeks ago, our cargo van that hauls our, all of our fish here from Denver broke down about two and a half hours away down the freeway. And Johnny was like, okay, I'll go. And he just took off, rescued the driver, loaded all the fish into his minivan and got them all here and that was a long late night um but you know he did it and i think the same week i think he had taken a trip up to billings to grab fish as well or so i just remember that week he took like two or three he's probably on the road for 15 hours it's about a two hour drive about 15 minutes outside of billings it started to snow a little bit that's gonna be fine takes about an hour and a half to get the fish after they've landed in Billings. Everything's super cold. Like, these fish here actually came in at 52 degrees. So we load everything up. We I unbox everything, crank the heat in my car. It's a blizzard outside, like complete whiteout condition. The drive home ends up taking like four and a half hours. I think it was like three hours unboxing after that, so. How did the fish do? They did surprisingly well. Like, they bounced back really well. It's really good to have people in place that'll just be like, okay, I got it. And take that off my plate <laughs> so I can go do the other, put out the other fires. I have no set tasks to do each day. So, trying to organize my day every day and be productive because there's a thousand things to be done. I have to figure out which are the most important and need to be done that day and go from there. We try to hire smart people so we don't have to micromanage. And what that means for someone in my position is you're going to get employees that have ideas and that when you say, hey, I think we should do this, or not necessarily going to say like, yes, that's the best idea ever. Sometimes they're going to be like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what about this? Johnny does that and he's made significant changes here. Ideas he's had, things he's had. We're very, very mission oriented. So fish health is always number one. 
like any argument we might have about something it always comes back to what's best for the fish and everybody's willing to concede that point about a month ago he thought of a different process we could use for unboxing our imports that would still keep the fish healthy and all that and it would go a lot quicker and so we implemented that and now imports take i don't know half as long since i'm customer facing i feel like my role has a major impact customer service is one of the most important factors to an online business businesses in general but especially online since you're not there interacting face to face with people like i'm a major impression people get on the company the thing that's great about johnny with customer service is this he's different than me and that he's brief he share a memorable experience s okay when a customer has a question or whatever he gives them a brief answer i'd write an essay so that's good um so I think he's really an ideal guy to help with customer service because he gets to the point, he's brief, and he's clear. I like seeing people get fish that they've struggled with a long time, and then they finally get them from us, and they just thrive, and then they breed for them, and it's just really fulfilling. Like, CPDs are a big one. Everybody struggles with CPDs. You get them from your local fish store, you get them home, they do good for a week and then they just crash. So many people have failed with them, but we send them out, especially if they're Rick's CPDs, like top tier CPDs, they do well for everybody. I don't think I can ever buy fish from a local fish store again. Just mind blowing to me, like how much care fish actually need before they're sellable. Like all these places that get their fish in, flip them the next day. Even if they quarantine them a week, that's being generous. And a week really isn't enough. You need at least two to sort out most problems. We're very open to customer feedback. Like we appreciate when you receive your fish, if you email us the temperatures they arrived at, that way we know maybe next time we should add a cold pack. Maybe we need a heat pack. Maybe we shouldn't have added that heat pack. Like, we take all the um, info we're given and work on proving. Like, it's a very active process here. What do you think of Dan? I have no idea. I don't really think about it. <laughs> no, I don't know what to say. He wears underwear most days. <laughs> like, ideally, I would just be playing games or something 24 7. Like I want to play an MMO again and just grind 18 hours a day but that's not my life anymore. Hey everyone it's Dan. If you want to learn more about Aquarium Fish we do a live stream every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on the Dan's Fish YouTube channel. If you're in the market for Aquarium Fish check us out at dansfish.com. We ship to the U.S. and parts of Canada and if you want something fishy to wear we've got merch. Till next time have a good one. Bye bye.